come back, come back, come back to Bubbly Girl. Seems such a long time since you were around. While you've been away, we waited for the day when you come back, come back, come back to Bubbly Girl. There it was, a sailing boat made out of paper. The Bubblies had made the boat and they were sailing it on their friend, Mr Puddle. It really was a very pleasant way of spending the afternoon and it made them begin to wonder if their puddle was anything like the seaside. I've heard there are lots of boats at the seaside. Has anyone ever been there? I have. Perhaps you can tell us what it's like at this place they call the seaside? Well, I'm not sure because it was a very long time ago but I know there's lots of water there. More water than in our Mr. Puddle? There was more water than anywhere else in the whole wide world. Cool. What do people do when they go to the seaside then? They, they all get very excited, take off their clothes and have a bath. What, all together? <laughs> yes. So it's really just one big bathtub. How many people were having a bath when you were there, Melody? There was almost 547 and a great big ship and lots of little fishes. Oh, it must be a big bath. And the water must be very dirty, with almost uh, 547 people in it. Melody, how big was this ship that you saw? It, it was as long as the world and as high as the sky. Just imagine having a boat as big as that to play with. Just then, Mr. Centigrade appeared from behind a tree. Hello, hello, hello. Is there anything you care to know? Hello, Mr. Centigrade. Hello, Mr. Centigrade. Mr. Centigrade was a very important man. He looked after the sun, the moon, the stars, and all the weather. And he lived in a little wooden house deep down in the forest. My, oh, my, what have we here? It looks like a boat, but a little queer. Though you wish that we had a boat as big as the one that Melody Gwen saw in the bathtub. <laughs> a boat in a bath? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Ha, ha, ha. Well, he means the seaside, Mr. Centigrade. But it would be nice to have a real ship to play with. I remember once upon a time, a very, very close friend of mine told me that by shutting your eyes up tight and making it dark as though it were night, and then all hold hands with a very tight grip, and in your minds, think of this great big ship. So come, dear friends, for that's what we'll do, and try to make our dream come true. Come on, Melody, join in. It sounds like fun, so I will. But what about the professor? They'd forgotten all about the professor, who'd fallen asleep over one of his very big sums. Wake up, professor. Come on, wake up. Oh, yes. Wake up. Oh, what? Oh, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes, right, I've got it all sorted out here. Mm -hmm. Yes, must have fallen asleep. It's a strain, you know. Overwork, that's the problem. What have you been working on, professor? Working on, yes, uh, the advanced use of atomic energy. A bit above your head, I'm afraid. Now let's all think hard, for that's how it's done. And then there'll be fun for everyone. We've made a ship out of our minds. An incredible thing for our minds to find. We sail away over the seas. A strange place for someone like
come back to bubbly girl Seems such a long time since you were around Why you've been away 